Van Kruger knows his... seems to be in order so we have returned and 
uh, yeah, the Grimgor campaign is finally done. Um, it took me many practice tries to do it, but yeah, it's uh, it's all over and done with. So now we're. I had a few. I'm doing Vlad von Karstein now. The vampires. I played a few, uh, like a few practice off like stream, so I could just kind of like get a feel for how they work. Um, so definitely a lot different than what I'm used to, but we'll try and complete it if we can. So. Anyway, uh, let's, let's, let's jump right into it, so, okay, um, what else do we have, okay, so eventually we have to destroy Reichland. Kind of hard to do with all this, though. That's what I don't understand. When it says to be vassals or military allies, why would. And then why would I have to destroy Reichland, too? I, I don't get it. Where's Aldorn? It's over there, okay. So I just have to control it. Or it could be a vassal. Alright, so as far as I remember, this guy, this faction starts with a blood kiss, and there's a few other things, too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he gets Vanguard deployment, which is pretty nice, because when we go up against shooting armies like Dwarves or Empire, we can get a little bit closer to them and take them by surprise. I don't remember exactly what she does. Okay, melee for heroes, okay. Okay. Ooh, she has casualty replenishment. That's pretty cool. What does this do? I never really had a chance to look at these while I was playing because I was just, you know, getting a feel for how they work, so... But now that I have an idea of what kind of abilities and passive stuff that they have and war gear, it, it kind of helps. And you have intelligent. Okay. Don's macabre! The world! Let's go ahead and... I usually go for to getting those up. I There is an argument made to actually get this up so you have more vampire heroes. But... Um, I kind I, I feel that having the control in our area is a must. I mean, there's, there's also an argument for growth as well because you can work your way up towards having a necromancer, which is not a bad idea either. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go with income and control because we definitely need that the most. King of darkness. Uh, now, this is the thing that kind of gets confusing because it depends. It, it's What you choose here solely depends on how the outcome of the game is going to be for your, for your playthrough. So there's an argument to do diplomatic relations with all factions, which is, again, not a bad idea. Uh, some people usually go for the Book of Archon so that they can work our way down to have like let's say melee or upkeep time or like strength and armor for grave guard which you know you're going to be getting a lot of grave guard uh later in the game because recruitment works differently than vampires and you have these two options so you recruit units within your provenance right like this for example but depending on where you are on the map you can just raise a new unit like right off the bat and there's no uh, turn indication of when the unit's going to arrive in your forest. It's just a free summon. So, uh, so like for example, like I wanted, there's like, and there's a cap too between how many you can raise. So let's say I wanted zombies. Let's do this as a quick example. Recruit and bam, that's it. But I think the, how it works is that you have to be within the provenance that you you control to raise them. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. But, yeah, that's, uh, so that's just an example right there. So anyway, um, back to the research. We are going to go with, I think I'm going to go for the one with the diplomatic uh, relations. I think that's very important. Yeah, it's going to take a long time to get there, but we're going to be, again, we're going to be turtling quite a bit in this area. Because Zuffbar is not what I'm really concerned with. It's, uh, it's Ungrim that I am really concerned about. But... One cool fact about vampires is that we can raise 
uh, like another vampire faction we fight. I haven't tried this on a human faction yet. I don't know if it's accurate. But if you beat the army to its last settlement, or like the last, like, you know, whatever force they have, for example, you can vassalize them. Kind of like the way with uh, Archeon every time he beats a faction, which uh, which I will play Archeon eventually, but uh, that's not the playthrough in this stream series, so we're going to do this instead. I've also been MIA for a few days. I'm very sorry about that. I've just been uh, focusing on, you know, personal things and my Warhammer hobby, so there you go. This isn't something I'm really necessarily like making money on. It's just uh, I'm doing the stream as a hobby. Get these guys up here. Um, yeah, they're fine over there. And we get Blood Knights. And uh, I, there was like one playthrough that I played that you can summon Blood Knights. It's pretty cool. Uh, we'll see if we can do that again, but yeah. Uh, okay, so now I've already explained that these guys have Vanguard deployment because of Vlad. But when it comes to fighting with vampires, you got to be careful with who you go up against. And the reason why I say that is uh, your leadership is what's going to kill you. Because when you're mor like morally beat, I don't even know if that's a word, but if you're like beaten uh, morally, then if that's how it's pronounced, I don't, again, I don't know. But, uh, you definitely want to uh, make sure that they don't die because of the run. Because we don't run as undead. So let's go ahead and weaken these guys. I know Graveguard just ran right in. So that's fine. Uh, we'll do the same over here that where she's fighting and we'll get you over here. There's, a, there's other cool things we can do too, like you have ways to heal your units, so like watch this. So I do that to Grave Guard, and they it bring it heals the unit so that they don't like get wiped out. And then you have other spells like Van Hells, so just do that over here. It shall be so. Vlad is strong enough to take down things on his own. It's pretty funny. And if you build him like strong enough in his tech tree, you can have him like, like just no constantly just fighting and healing at the same time. It's really dumb. Find me if you dare. The speed is not really too concerned with. He's lady. So you can basically put it on, let's say, him, and he can heal as well. It's kind of like another regenerative ability. Uh, these guys can use a little bit of help. Agreed. Magic plays a big part into this game, so just keep that in mind. Fun fact about the vampire counts is that in the lore, um, and especially on the battlefield, if your general that's a magic caster dies, then someone else has to take up the mantle to maintain the undead in their army. Once that's gone, the undead start to crumble. It was a really cool mechanic, but it also forced you, as a tabletop miniature player, to protect your generals. Because you can't just blindlessly go in there and just, like, you know, just fight anything you want and then end up so there's going to be, like, a, a lord or something that's a lot stronger than you and it's just going to murder you. But in the, in the tabletop version, vampires were quick as hell. They were considered like one of the fastest melee swingers uh, in the game, uh, aside from elves. All right, now he's starting to break. And he's crumbling, he's crumbling very fast, actually. Jesus. And that's it. That's basically how it works. Obviously, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing playing this campaign, but again, where this is a long victory achievable like stream because I, I thought about it for a while after the Grim Gore, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm just not gonna. I don't want to do the the like the domination victory because just all you're doing is taking over settlements at that point. It's very boring. 
Okay, now when it comes to this, yeah, you could do, you can get unit experience, but here's my problem with that. You're probably going to have units that are going to die anyway, so I don't see this as a viable option. Army replenishment is good. I mean, it's good for almost anybody, but it's it's especially good for vampires, and you'll see why later on in the campaign when I explain it. Or you could just go for total magic, so it it's really up to you. Uh... But I think I'm going to go with Army Replenishment just to keep my guys a little bit healthy. So we got that. All shall know me. Uh, we definitely want to... You def it's Just like Grimgore, you want to go down this path because uh, Casualty Replenishment's nice and you have a chance... And this is what I'm talking about right here. You have a chance of getting your units back up from the dead like when they're wiped out up to a minimum amount of strength so it prevents them from dying after from a post battle game and the upkeep is always nice because well you're playing legendary and very hard so you're at a disadvantage like a major disadvantage you work your way up to over here because of the upkeep so uh lightning strike is probably going to be putting the most of because there is an ability where uh ambushes uh, you have a higher success rate of ambush based on the like family of the vampires that you choose with which we'll go over that soon once we have enough but um, yeah definitely do a leadership here like I said leadership matters and then replenishment troops obviously all right so before we do this we can I think we should just summon as much as we can to start with just have a growing force right already and having and getting the crown of command that was actually pretty lucky because yeah i mean it's unbreakable and it's not not really much you know for, not really gonna help us that much but um probably good for like to do it on a character it rather than just an infantry so here we are we're at this again um i believe this there's no yeah there okay just go ahead and do that normally i don't stream this late but I'm playing vampires, I figure, you know, it's it's appropriate at nighttime. Kind of like a thematical approach here for how I want my, uh, how to raise my viewership a little bit. But then again, I, I need to maintain my own version of reality rather than just living in a, a fantasy world. Even though I'm already playing in one, but that's besides the point. All shall bow before me. Uh, what am I doing? What do you want? Uh, what's this over here? Yeah, the Blood Knights are fine over there. They're pretty fast. Yeah, that's okay. Bow before me. All right. No one can stop me. They're gonna be in the forest mostly, so we're not going to reveal. I mean, yeah, we can reveal them if we want to, but we're just um. I'm, I am obviously not sending the Blood Knights and the Flyers on their own without the infantry backing them up because that's... At that point, your unit's going to crumble, like, really quickly. Victory is mine! Fear us! I think they just have a bunch of skeletons, zombies, and fireworks. I don't think there's much of a fight here, but you know what? I don't care. Blood von Karstein. Have some fun beating up some zombies. Oh, there's another unit here. Okay. Isabella. Vampire. I will! Okay, they're starting to make their way in, so let's go ahead and bring the Blood Knights around the corner. the black coach in a position where he can charge them in a flank which will even which will hurt them even more send them in a 
I guess I can have the bats come in and do something, and I shouldn't let the skeletons and, you know, zombies have all the fun. Actually, wait, wait. If the bats die, it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world, but you obviously don't want them just coming down and fighting all the time. Like, on their own, so. This world is mine. Start weakening some units. We'll help them. And we'll have them swing a little faster, because why not? It shall be so. Uh, Vlad's taking some damage, so we'll do it to him. Let's weaken them. Die! nice if we had some damaging spells but we're not we're not gonna have that for a while so besides these guys are fighting so that's all that matters these guys are these aren't even that tough so up here because they're all starting to crumble. I used to own a Vampire Counts army back in 6th edition. It was fun. I never remember why I got rid of them. But they were like really old models. <laughs> Those skeletons were really difficult to put together back then and they, they probably still are but with the newer versions but Yep, there you go. Okay, so we took over our first provenance. I believe, yeah, because having the vampire corruption and control, anything with, control's a must for getting your own settlement, but having the, you know, uh, having the, uh, anything else after that is, is a bonus, so. I could do Undying Legions over here, or Undying Horde over here, and I think I should. So I'm gonna just start with that. Is there anything else we can raise? No. Uh, we can recruit a couple more, so I think we'll go ahead and do that. So we want Dire Wolves and. Yes, yeah, screw it. Dire... Well, actually, Dire Wolves are kind of expensive, so I don't wanna go too ham on that. So we'll just. We'll do Zombies for some cheap fodder. Unstoppable. Now we can recruit another vampire lord, which is what we're gonna do. Wait, what? I've never seen this before. Okay, it's not really what I want, so I'm gonna do with one of my saved ones that I have here. And we're gonna go with... I'm not sure why this one's so much, but we'll just go with this. Oh, that's a... Oh, it's a master necromancer. Never mind. This better be important. Okay, I guess that's, uh, maybe there's other, like, maybe some dipl diplomatic relations we can Are do. You ready? Welcome, King. I like to say Back things fancy all the time. You will deliver you. An ad! To war. My slayer oath. So. Von? Yes. Nothing as of note, so we're just yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. I got the DLC recently for the Changeling and the other two legendary lords, um, and I tried playing uh, Kairos after that just so I could see what the new unit when they added the new units to them and they're, they're pretty they're a lot stronger than the last time I played them before the DLC so that's good because they were really struggling Vlad von Karstein.
Yeah. Um, the pendulum is a good start, but she's going to be fighting most of the time, so I think I'm just going to... That's kind of what I did last campaign, so when I was oh, testing, so I'll probably just go with that. Actually, before I, I move in going. there, let me see if there's anyone I can raise. Because no matter, when you walk in between provenances, check into what you can raise is very nice. So it's just right there. It was expensive, but we got another graveguard, so I'm not complaining. So we'll just do the this. Will be mine. I will alone. And obviously we don't have Going. enough up, or have enough uh, income to raise any more, but that's fine. I'd rather not wait a turn, so we're just going to fight this the way it is. It's actually what I did. In other news, the WoW expansion, the WoW, not expansion, but the WoW expansions were revealed, but the patch is finally out, but th there's still not much to do. It's just being the, able to go into the Emerald Dream, so I'm just patiently waiting for the PvP season to start and the Mythic Plus. We'll see if I can maintain getting a duelist again for the PvP, so we'll see. Uh, the other army is right. Oh, it's just him. Yeah, you know what? Um, I don't want him all the way over there. We're gonna put him here. It's gonna be a little bit more time, but it's fun. Alright, let's, uh, let's get going. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them break down the doors. Actually, nah. The dogs can break down the door, sure, but these guys are going to climb up here, and so are you. It is done. These guys over here. Lads made his way up there. So now he'll go down there and fight. I should be able to do it on them. Oh well. Bow before me.
so they also have black knights. That makes sense. Okay, should be fine. Wolf of clay. I guess it's because they're up there. Alright. Yeah, they're all crumbling. We won. up here so that he can keep up with Vlad. One thing I noticed in Vlad's playthrough is that he doesn't have a mount. For some reason in my mind I thought he did. But eh. It's whatever. So we'll put yeah we'll just finish that up because the regen is so nice. Um Not really too concerned about uh, magic just yet. Oh, the only because it's nice to have damaging magic, but um, at this point of the game, it, that's not really what you're going to be doing most of the time as vampires, especially on a legendary, because you're going to be healing more than you are doing spell damage. It's one of the reasons. It's one of the things I learned the hard way when I played. You can see how quickly we regen from our battles, so it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Blood! What do you want? He's not going to have his own army just yet because of because of the upkeep, but as soon as we have enough to work with for for us. Actually, can we, Bring wait, hold on, before death. we do anything else, can we raise? They will yeah. Know I'm death. Uh, nothing special, so we'll just get a couple zombies, because they're cheap. All shall pet. Okay, now we can fight this. Zombies are like, their upkeep is ridiculously small, but they're also pretty trash, so. Uh, you know. Obviously, they're not going to do well for you, like taking on, like let's say, an orc boy unit. But they're still nice to have. They're just they're just extra bodies to deal with the so they take the damage while your melee units don't uh, lose on attrition. That's the whole point. Slowly. And 
he'll be in soon, but he's not going to be doing much, so it doesn't matter. Victory is mine! Lead them! Quickly! For Sylvania! Swiftly! But if you can understand how the vampire or like the undead mechanics work, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely harder for some people to get a to get a feel for how undead actually work as far as like on the battlefield and maintaining their stability. Like I said, once you've done that, it's it's a lot of fun. Actually, I didn't want the dogs in. That was kind of a mistake. Skeleton unit coming up on the flank. Are there zombies? Never mind. Oh, she's all the way over there. Never mind. Lord of the Dead. all the way over there he's not gonna <laughs> by the time he gets there the fight will be over doesn't matter Gonna speed it up at this point. They're already breaking. Very easy. Uh, now we can put actually no what do you want um. Do that, I guess. Cower before me. And I think that's all we can do for now. Surprised that they got an army over here. I'm really sure what the deal is on that. Another thing you have to consider is maintaining diplomatic relations is kind of hard for vampires because they they don't they really don't have a lot of allies they're one of those factions like again with orcs that a lot of people hate in chaos and stuff so i mean chaos has a lot of its own like its own factions but they're very easy to 
to like work together or confederate. The world will drown in blood. Do this. I should have another point for yes I do. I thirst. And now we're going to Into make our way back. You dare. I would have liked to got over there faster, but whatever. Obviously, we could fight him. Well, no, we can't. All shall perish! They obviously got quite a force here. I wouldn't really mo lose much if I just wipe them out right now. Let's see. You think it is wise. Wait, we discovered another faction? How? Where are these guys at? Oh, they're up there. That's weird. I don't see them, but yet we discovered them. That makes Do not no sense. Me for the fool. My bloodline calls. You will be punished. We'll bring him no in. Mercy. And I think we'll just auto-resolve it. There's no point. Even though we did take quite a bit of damage, but it's fine. And then we subjugate them and now they belong now they're part of us now. So Champion of the Dark, King of Darkness. Oh, whoops. Forgot. Definitely want this. Uh. Quick blade. Blood von actually, wait. What would I. Is there anything I can get over here for a Ooh, actually, that's not yes. a bad idea. What do you want? Oh, never mind. We can't. We can't recruit them. Okay, forget it. But now we got our first blood kiss, and you're gonna see. So basically, you have the families to choose with, all of from different bloodlines. Uh, you, they're basically they're done in like tiers. So the first blood kiss will obviously cost three, then the next one will cost six, and I'm assuming, I've never gotten that far, but I'm get I'm guessing it it's nine for the last tier. So. Um, I find that going with Von Karstein is better is the first good choice because of casualty replenishment and the crossbowmen. We actually will have a range unit now. Eventually, you want to go here because of the ambush success and because crypt ghouls. So, and the crypt ghouls is okay. Um, they're not something I would use all the time. Uh, but obviously, we're gonna go with this. Like, if you can oh, see, look, old. look at this. I'm that. Trembling. All that casualty replenishment, I just get like brought back up to full within a turn. It's really what? stupid. So, technically, okay, so here's the other thing we don't have regiments of renown like the special units. So, our regiment of renown comes from the bloodline. So, you know, technically, this. So, um, but it's not cheap to have these guys. But you have some, you have some, like, you know archery or like handgunners or crossbowmen so take your pick really but i usually like having one of them so fine with that and i think yep oh and we got another cool uh other than that to stand before how oh they only got one settlement left i think these guys those guys are gonna get wiped out okay one thing I did also take into account in my previous campaign is that if the Wargrove get unignored for too long, they become a problem. Changeling is not really going to bother us that much, but obviously we want to wipe out 
you know, the humans, the Empire as fast as possible, but... I made the mistake by realizing that they're not really much of a threat. Not until they, like, they start confederating, per se, but... If we don't deal with Draka now, it's going to be a problem. She, she's eventually going to declare war, and her forces will be nearly impossible to beat. I've, tr I've tried to do it with multiple armies, and it, it's, it's really bad, so... Uh, you definitely have to consider taking her out. The good news is that Draka doesn't have a lot of like friends. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. All right, a so great we got a adventure quest. beckons. That's good. Be wary, though, for while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think. We'll go ahead and do the battle now. Because we kind of need the money, and... Blood Drinker is not a bad weapon either. So... I normally, do, I, I normally don't like to do quest battles. And I'd be, I know I'd be losing a little bit if I auto-resolve, but I could just raise more units. It's not, And what I'm losing is not that bad, so... And here's the cool thing. Now, even though that one was technically dead, I brought it back. What? See? So there you go. It's pretty cool. Lord of the dead. So now we can recruit the units that, act, that we actually want. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start merging zombies. And get my skeletons back. Having the growth in the province is nice. But what I find very helpful is lightning strikes, so just just spam those. Okay. Okay. I am invincible. Uh that's about it, actually. I know we're a little bit hurting money wise, but it, it'll be fine. We'll get it back up soon. That one's going to be kind of pricey, but I think there's a couple of things we can get rid of for that. But I do want that building, so... King of uh, let's merge the bats. All shall know me. And I let's tremble. merge the rest of the zombies together. Bow before me. No. And then we'll hand him these two. Vlad von Karstein. And we'll set him on a channel. Because that's basically what's you're gonna replenish your armies when you're in enemy territory, so it's not a bad it's not a bad thing to have. Going. I am Did we get anything else like banners? No, we got grape. Well, yeah, we're gonna give that to him instead. It, it benefits him. Other than that, we really didn't get much magic items, so that's kind of it's kind of shitty if you ask me. And I guess that's it because we kind of need to heal. don't like the fact that the Empire is growing over there. And trust me, I would love to deal with them right now, but I think I yes. I, I, I can't let Draka get any stronger than she is right now. So, jeez. I don't know how I want to do this. Because obviously I can't ignore these guys. We will. Unless I can form some sort of, like, agreement with them, but they hate us, yes. like, pretty bad right now. All right. But we we got to get rid of Draka, so yeah, we're just going to... We'll see what happens. By the comet. 
Lord of the Night. If we mess up, Very it'll be well. my fault. So. It is done. In your Too concerned with this. Bring them death. This better be important. I'll have just. There we go. So now they got the nightmares. I didn't really see much of a reason to actually fight the battles. So uh missile resistance is nice so we'll just do that because they're going to be on forces now oh wait i want that i hunt it is night yep cower before me that would be nice so we'll do that and we'll see what happens See how big of a problem it is when she comes after us. Okay, so she sent multiple armies after us. That's not really what I wanted. But thankfully, we were able to get out of that. Close are they? Are they together? Yeah, they're pretty close. Jeez. The world will drown in blood. Pura Negra. These guys are too close together, and obviously fighting them is not is not something. It's not the answer. So, I mean, we can, because her units. She has a bunch of dryads. Uh, but she doesn't have the other strong stuff. Him, on the other hand, he just has a bunch of tree, like the tree kin, and the tree kin is actually our greatest yes. problem. Unless we have backup, we just don't have much of a chance against these guys. Lord of the Dead. It took him a while to get over there. So I Yeah, I have an idea. We're gonna move back. Champion of the Dark, they will know I'm death. Ready. I am glad. That might be a mistake, but we'll see. They obviously are going to want to take the settlement back. Arrival power comes to parley, demanding a change in your mutual relations. Yeah. Obviously, we lose quite a bit, but. She's that dualist. What is dualist? It's a woodland interception, is what she's doing. So we have no backup. So, but I think we'll fight it and see what happens. If I have to auto-resolve it, I will, but I don't think we need to. Obviously, dealing with the branch rate, uh, the uh, dryads is the is the play here. Hey, 
Some sort of artillery. What was that? Oh, it must be the tree, man. Checking to see where it's coming from, but I don't see it. I wasn't aware that there was, uh. Maybe it's these guys? I don't know. I don't see it. Master of the undead! Kill! Isabella von Karstein. I'm not sure what that was. It's probably maybe the tree man's artillery. What I don't know. Do you want? Night has fallen. That was nasty. Uh, I guess I didn't need to bring him over there, but okay. Bring it down! See what we can do. I don't have a good feeling about this, but we'll definitely try. I shouldn't have set the Blood Knights on their own. I might have to restart, actually. Formation, march! Are dying. Damn. This is not good. With haste. Attack. I forgot. 
forgot I had the dogs over here. Take aim! Isabel. We gotta deal with this. Lord of the Dead. Yeah. They're starting to crumble. All right, we'll just have to auto-resolve it then. Sadly. Like I said, she's really strong. Even with like a few settlements, she, she becomes a serious problem. So that's why we have to take care of her first. The woodland interception also sucks because it puts us in like such a backward position. So we can just deal with her and we'll see if we can get guys back, which doesn't look like we'll get much, but it's fine. The replenishment helps. And now we have to deal with this, so I'm just gonna run. Let's just keep making her a fighting hero, I guess. Now that we max both of those out. Not sure where the other guy went, but we'll, we'll go after him in a sec. Get these two buildings up, and we got another blood kiss. Perfect. So now this is probably where I would start, you know getting the uh, ambush success because am ambushing is very useful Blood von Karstein. My uh, he ambushed us that smug bastard oh well, well I'm probably gonna lose my guy but oh well. wasn't expecting that thankfully he didn't die though but he did expose himself. I am very surprised my main army didn't catch him. Now you want to run. Death and destruction. All right, we got rid of him too. Champion of the dark. Cost us a ghoul, but whatever. Hey, what's up, Hashute? King How's of it going? Darkness. Actually, we'll put in the last one. There we go. I will alone. Is 
how's it going with you, Hashoot? Anything change? I knew the way. What? The von Karstein. Is Balthazar guilt? Ulrich's will. Oh wow, Azhag is tearing things up over there. I thought they would, he would have been dead by now. Well, he is becoming more. Noticeable, I suppose. Maybe I ought to consider getting some form of, of alliance with him. I changed, yes, because I'm getting to the point where I am done with Total War, but I'll still be modding. But the thing is, probably not going to watch any streamers that are still. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I know. Creative Assembly is being a bunch of asshats right now. I, I saw that post in Discord, by the way. It's really, really effed up. Darkness comes. It's like, I think they're to just the starting to not give a shit anymore about it's about the people that promotes their game or whatever. Darkness comes. Annihilate them. Yeah, I'm just, not, I'm not sure what's going on with them. I don't like I, I bet you're right, I don't like it, but I'm glad you're still doing the mods. Blood This better be important. Massacre them. Yeah, if it, if it gets too bad, though, I, I mean, I'm probably in the same boat as you. Maybe I wouldn't want to stream this anymore, either. We'll see how it goes, though. I hunt. More sleep shine. You're playing a lot of Fallout, I take it. Other games to get your mind off the creative assembly nonsense. Me with the respect I deserve, or die. Guy's honestly a scumbag since he mentions criticism, make her hard, and use kind of told him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, non aggression, that's fine. Yeah, I know. It's like. It's like a mental attack. Like, the guy's already, like, you know, depressed enough as it is. Like, I don't think you have to, like, attack like his sanity or anything like make him even more driven to like how much you know he's dealing with if that makes sense but still i hate i hate people like that who just lash out at lash out at other people like that the 
von Karstein. But this is exactly what the internet's about. It's they don't care whose feelings they hurt because their face is not being shown to the public. Even though that some people might know who they are, but it, you understand what I'm trying to say. It's kind of like they just like people feel like they can say whatever they want, and and the truth is that nothing like nothing can be done about it. I really hate people like that because I, I, everybody has dealt with like a point in their life where they've been bullied. Know me and tremble. Blood von Karstein. It's not a bad one, but the unit experience is nice, though. So I think I'm gonna do that. Power it's done by a turn-by-turn turn thing, and I'm I'm fine with that. What do you want? Yeah, for sure. My bloodline calls. I completely agree with you. But I mean, let's let, let's look like the let's look at the reality of that concept. It's no one no one is willing to do anything about it, and no one will back each other up anyway because they don't want to deal with that kind of backlash either. So it's kind of like okay, well, you know, it's like what what like this is like. Do we not like have each other's backs on the internet? It's like every man for himself in like the middle of a fucking war zone. It's 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 just a whole scummy, a whole scummy thing. And the the internet has made cyberbullying like such a problem. This better be important. Yeah. Yes. Obviously, Creative Assembly is digging its community to its grave at this point. That's how I'm seeing it. Oh, right, they want to do a trade agreement. Yep. Uh, I think we can... Oh, why is he here? Who is this guy? That has a lot of ogres at our doorstep. Jesus. All that's yours! Is gonna be mine. Well done for it. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, these guys are pretty much oh, done at this point. Might as well just let the vassal deal with them. Let's go, watch it. And he's not gonna do much. Okay. Ready. Go on. Don't want to make myself Nancy too wins. noticeable. started playing WoW because of how, it, yeah, that's, I'm kind of in that boat too, and I think I might do that in my future streams if, if like the, I guess I wouldn't say franchise, but I guess like the popularity of like people watching the streams for this kind of content, I think I probably would have a much better time streaming WoW at that point. King of darkness, sleep is for the living. It, the problem the problem I have with that though is that everybody streams wow so getting yourself like noticeable is kind of difficult it's already difficult enough as it is follow me Tula, make 
strong. Maria have one settlement left anyway build it to your heart's content I don't give a shit I'm not gonna build those settlements yet this one I can though so I might as well more sleep shine I mean, you have to be, like, really good at the game to get noticed for, you know, to get your channel to grow or, or, like, you know, get recognized to the public. And the problem with that is because WoW is just so big that everybody does it. And unless you're, like, a Mythic Raider, like, one of those, like, top guilds or, like, you're a rank 1 pvp -er, or you're, like, a rank 1 keystone person, like, it's, it's kind of hard to, you know... It's kind of hard for people to recognize that, like, how good you are at the game, and that's what people usually look for. It's not just the commentary, it's the, I am it's not just the, you know, that you're doing all this extra stuff to make your stream look good, but it's, a, a lot of it is based on skill Bow and based on how me. well you talk to people. Like, there's a lot of factors to consider when you're trying to promote your stream. And for some people, it takes them a long time, and it's just a, it's a whole process. You just keep going and going the more you stream, and hopefully you get recognized more, you know? I find that actually working with, like, other streamers, like, being a part of, like, different, like, streaming communities and, like, talking to people, and, you know, sometimes that helps, but it's, like, it's not, it's not the whole answer to... Because you, obviously you're doing it just to be selfish, so... These guys are doing, just sitting there. Oh, he's recruiting. Already, right. how big is this army? The nation calls. Okay, well, how big is the settlement then? The empire. It's a level two, so it definitely has some stuff. Is there anything we can recruit? Ready. Or raise? Yeah, we can. Okay. I guess the more bodies, the merrier. Lord of the dead. My only problem is if they're tied with the other Empire factions, because if they are, if I blindlessly declare war, Sigma's then the other will. ones will come after me, too. Oh, these yes. guys have enough problems that, well, he's... All right. Yeah, he's not gonna... He's on his own. Sigma's will. I'm not sure how much of an army... His military strength is high, so that's a little concerning. So, what that's telling me is that he has one army here, but he also has an army somewhere else. Yeah, and it's hard, but the thing is, I'm on EU servers for WoW goes, and yes, I'm probably going to be looking at retail. Yeah, I would look at retail for you. Definitely. It's very big in the EU. But you know what? So, actually, in the United States, we have a lot of, like, classic hardcore community, and it's so big. Not in my name. Like, ever since classic hardcore like before it became a ser it had its own server it was so big already Bring them death! and it was just driving so many people to watching it because it's a it's like it, it, it's an exciting experience like it's it's no even mercy. though i kind of disagree that wow shouldn't be like a hardcore type of game like diablo but turning it into a hardcore itself is like the fun of it like you die you go again or like you you guys got your raid team together you're all like pre-raid geared and you go into multiple core and all of a sudden the trash just spread, just screws with you and you have to start over again. That's just the thrill. And people like that kind of uh, like that kind of content because it it, it it can drive out reactions. The world will drown in blood. Lord of the night. Yeah, classic can choose. Yeah, exactly. It's not just Asmund Gold too. It's Zaryu. It's Mitch Jones. Uh, let's see who else is there. Um, Zico. 
There was that other guy. I forgot his name. Um, Savix, Payo, like those type of like those top people. I, I think Soda Poppin did some too. Uh, I think he's also on that train as well. If my memory is right. Whoops. But yeah, I am glad. it's because of, yeah, Peo, yeah, it's because of those guys, um, they've, they've drew, they've drew like such a big crowd. Yeah. But yeah, I actually, I enjoy watching their content. I'm actually subbed to them as well. Um, and then I also, you know, I sub to a few on retail as well because of the, just, I, I'm really big into the, like, doing everything in retail, but for classic, I just, I like playing classic the way I like to, and hardcore is fun. I am considering about streaming hardcore um, if Creative Assembly uh, is killing its viewer base. So, you know, if the, if that ever happens, then yeah, I'll strongly consider doing hardcore. Because before the servers were up, I had like a level 41 like dwarf paladin, and I had a few close calls, but never died. It's a slow, pro it's a slow process to levels, so a I'm not so sure if it's going to be like, behind you know, word. good to watch or anything. But I'm considering probably just doing a warrior. Because you really have to think like how like how you're gonna level as a warrior because you're not gonna have help from anyone and the here's the other thing time. when uh the classic servers were launched uh there was a few other things that they didn't implement into the game that i noticed was grouping together for stuff on like the open world i'm hearing that's not going to be a thing anymore that there's going to be no grouping experience because it's it, it's supposed to be a solo content i don't know if they're really going to go through with it though but we'll see Yeah, I agree. Unstoppable. Um, actually, we could do the quest. I know my now, path. so let's just do that. Let's get that out of the way. He's got another point. Cool. Um, okay. Definitely have that. No. Oh, we got some cool stuff. Oh snap. Um, okay, so I'll just recruit these for now and I'll pass them over. I might slow on to them actually, I don't know. Blood kiss, but I'm not sure if we want any of these. I'm not sure if that's every turn, though. Although, yeah, or we could, yeah, okay. We'll just do that. I am invincible. 
and I think we can move over here and we can still, yeah, that's fine. Okay. We gotta ditch those zombies at some point because they're just gonna be really bad. over there. Oh, whoa, what happened here? The man, well then. Wait, what was that quest? Oh, just recruit a lord? Yeah, I no thanks. I don't like the fact that he's here, though, so we're gonna get rid of him. All shall perish! this the world will drown in blood uh let him have passive regenerating on his own now as for you okay Yeah, we can, yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's okay. Well, they're gone. Um, can we do anything over here? Yes, we can. Or, wait a minute. Okay, not enough. Definitely need more income. Hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand before I raise it. Alright. Let's just I deal don't. with them. Because they're just around the corner, so they'll probably cross at some point. So let's just get rid of these guys. I'll ignore that. They changed the seas of blood. That's funny, he's over there. The von Darstein. Swifter than death. I don't get what the changeling does in all honesty, but it makes me want to try his campaign. Okay, now I know these guys are coming after me. Any 
Any other buildings we can do, perhaps? No. Nothing worthwhile. Where'd he go? Okay. Recruit the following hero, a white king. So he ran that way. I don't think I can catch him. What? So obviously he's going to try and cross over. Yeah, okay. We'll move slightly away from the settlement. What do you want? Actually, I can stream for another 30 minutes though, and I'll probably head to bed. It's sort of a late stream anyway. I'm just running a few experiments as far as with the weak. gaining viewers. Oh, I get one. And it's actually been more alive here, so I like that. Wait, they got destroyed. Oh, they... Okay, that's why. King of darkness. Into darkness. As you command. I do not bandy words with the weak. Leave me. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that was coming. They really don't have much of a. Well, that, it could be a problem, actually. These guys. I might have to go back and get rid of them, but I don't like putting myself, exposing myself that much. And obviously going for this could be a trap, but... I feel like we have to get, I don't even know where they are though, so... Wait, where is it? There we go. Lord of the night. I approve. I shall go.
still don't know where they went. He's crossing over, I'll but he doesn't that. have much of an army, so... What is going on? Darkness comes. I'm not gonna keep building stuff over there, because like, they might attack it. Not sure what they're doing. We're just gonna take Shut it out. That lot. Blood von Karstein. Better be important. Yes. What? I obey. Yes. No. Thy knees. I'm not going to peace treaty with them because I need to wipe them out. The world will drown in blood. More sleep shines. No. I refuse. Interesting. Everything dies. Ready for bossing! Wait, is Azhek fighting Draka? No, he's not. Then who's fighting Draka? So they're just gonna let her get strong. Wonderful. Not sure if I'd want that, but okay. This guy is going to come over here and deal with us, so. Sigma forbids this. There is one thing I can do. Bring them I can't death. make it. Night march. Normally I don't like splitting them up. But I f should be okay. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh, and the other army's there, too. Not likely. This night. I wonder. Agreed. For now. I am unstoppable. Now they don't have any Mortal settlements anymore. Know me and tremble. So now they're in trouble. The von Garstein. What do you want? Is 
Azhag gonna cooperate with us now, or what's going on? Dead nah, it. he kinda hates us still. I do not bandy words with the weak. Leave me! Uh, okay. Okay, so it turns out they did have another army. The world. And now that they're gone. Champion of the dark. My bloodline calls. We are in agreement. Obliterate. He might have backup. Bring me flesh to craft. Nothing, nothing to do there. sure what he's trying to do but I don't like it gonna have to keep an eye on him Vlad von Karstein Not too bad. Now we'll just make him into an even crazy fighter. I think both of them did gain immortality, so that's good. We do have some better units we can recruit now, so might as well merge all these together. Okay, that's the only thing I can afford right now. That's fine. Yes. We'll just leave it at that for now. It is night. Uh, 
there's all this stuff over here. I guess we could declare war on them, but I don't know. I feel like I'm needed back over here, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll maintain as much as this Lord as we can. Of the night. Our main goal is to get rid of the Empire, so we're gonna stick to doing that. We don't the dwarves we don't really care that much about. I do not bandy words with the weak. There we go. Knew that was coming. The world. All right. Drown in blood. Whoops. If you think it is wise. I was gonna say it'd be great if we can get more blood knights, but we can't. Those for now. Uh, let's ditch the other zombie. Champion of the dark. And let's get. Jeez, I don't know. Okay, well, let's leave it at that. King of darkness. Let's go ahead over there and deal with them. As a matter of fact, we have Everything enough. Done. Yeah, we have enough points. Let's see if we can use our vassal to weaken her. I have no idea what Zephar's doing, but yeah, we're not gonna. We're not putting anything together over there just yet. I want to see what Draka does. I should have gotten rid of her when I had the chance, but oh well. Hopefully she won't be that big of a problem. Okay, so she sends one of her wardens to come in. Apparently those two seem like they're a legendary lord as a combo. Actually, nah, eh, nah. They're just gonna sack it again. We should get something more important over here, like having a wall. Because obviously they're gonna try and take the tree back. This is kind of similar to what they did against me I am uh, in my previous game, so. I shall enslave the world. I am going. For some reason, my vassal is not Ready. cooperating to go after them, so maybe. Soon I'll be all powerful. Let's see what happens. This better be important. Let's keep them together. That way they can help each other out. I will allow. Wait. Yeah, I want that.
surprisingly... What is going on here? All shall know me and tremble. Let's see if I can get over here and deal with him. Nah, he's running. Yes. What do you want? Dance the cup. Nothing else to do, so I'm not gonna I'm not fixing those buildings yet. Not until we get rid of them. didn't go back over here, so that's good. Vlad von Karstein. He's gonna be a problem to catch, so. Darkness comes. To the shadows. Lord of the dead. The world will drown. Sleep shines. Nah, nothing, nothing good recruiting. On thy knees, then and only. A pleasure. Let's leave it at that. Von Garstein. Well, obviously he's hiding. Annihilate them. All shall know me and tremble. At last. I don't like having to deal with attrition, but we Where's the rebellion? Oh, I don't care. Obviously, they're just gonna keep running in circles. My words are as deadly. Just die. Dragos, Tula, Vlad von Karstein. I wonder if they lost. No, they didn't fight him. Strike out. They will know on death. This. And destruction. We're putting a stop to this, like right now. All right. Bow before me. I'm tired of dealing with a bunch of nonsense. So 
You go take them out. I'm gonna take back the King other thing. Of darkness. Quite a bit there, my friend. The von Karstein. Oh, might as well fix it. turns to heal oh just more like one turn actually because we're gonna go take out the forest I do not bandy words with the weak oh yeah so you can declare war again no They got destroyed? How? Oh, the orcs. No wonder. Well then. Never thought I'd see that in a My campaign. Unstoppable. The world in blood. Eh, can't fix it yet. But that's okay. Let's get rid of this stupid person. The tree. The tree person! Now we don't have to deal about them and deal with them anymore. What? You there? What do you want? Okay. Wait, what happened to this settlement? Oh, it got destroyed. Damn. Well, oh, pretty good. Not too bad. Now drake has gone. We got rid of the other Empire factions, so that's good. But at this point, we're just going to build what we have and take out the rest of the settlements, probably. Factions got discovered. Damnation. You get. There's no leaving here without infection. Oh. You have. Let's do that. Lover. I have no time. Bring it. Oh, not. It is time. I will have. They're not gonna bother us too much. The thing assist to me now. May as well wait. Be cool. The me. No. 
none shall question me. I shall well, summon him. That's your problem. So it is time. My slayer. Darkness. Say what you must, but know you play a dangerous game. <laughs> Nothing else really to do after that. Zhao Meng! Do not disgrace yourself. Acceptable. I death to all who transgress against the Emperor. The storm. Wind. Every moment in your presence is in harmony if. What? The more. Wow. It is night. Okay. What? Vlad von Karstein. I guess we could just. Yeah. Okay. I knew the way. I shall go. I will alone. This better be important. Moving. Okay, we got some stuff. That's cool. Um, we'll do one more turn, and I think I'll stop the stream. Oh, oh, did they confederate? Yes, they did. Okay. Probably would have been a better idea if I just took him out altogether, because now I have to deal with Reichland, which is not not something I want to deal with, but they are part of the our campaign that we have to destroy, so. More sleep shines. These guys are just sitting build Building their forces. But as far as I'm concerned, they're not going to be much help. I'm so, my coupon now. Okay. The von Garstein. All shall know me and tremble. I guess we can get Blood Knights. That's not bad. Having more of those would be nice. Okay. So, now that we got all that done, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point here. So, nope. Another faction discovered. This guy's raiding, so... Changeling is a interesting individual because I never see him on the map, so... Makes me wonder how his... How you actually play him in the campaign, so... I guess I'll find out eventually when I try it. 
Alright, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I know this is a little bit of a shorter stream, but it's getting late, so... Uh, yeah, so thanks again for tuning in on this Lab on Car Sign campaign. Hopefully we can finish Long Victory without any problems, so... Alright. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please hit that follow. And it really helps a lot, and I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the content, and I will see you next time. Alright.